Hello and welcome to a video about how to make a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Zombie 1 server. This video is basically an overview of what type of videos I am going to make for this tutorial series. Zombie Mod Gameplay Part 1 So, what is Zombie Mod? What is the gameplay? It is basically two teams where we have humans as the counter-terrorist and zombies as the terrorist. When you start the round, you have a certain amount of time to buy weapons and then you have a time limit to survive. So, there are different types of gameplay maps. You can either do zombie escape or regular zombie maps. In zombie escape maps, you need to escape the map while avoiding being infected by zombies. Certain zombie escape maps may have objectives or boss battles in order to advance through stages of a map or escape the map overall. Regular zombie maps you need to survive by barricading yourself in an area of the map, defend or consider hiding somewhere in order to avoid being infected. You can also team up with other players to defend until the time limit is reached, or kill all of the zombies. Also, when the round starts, a random player or players are chosen as the first zombie, also called the mother zombie. The amount of zombies spawn will depend on the population of the server, or ratio of humans to zombies. It all depends on the configuration of the Zombie Mod server. Zombie Mod Gameplay Part 2 The goal of zombies are to infect every human. The goal of humans are to survive or kill all of the zombies. Each server has its own settings for zombies and gameplay. For example, it varies on the health, speed, knockback, bunny hopping, types of weapons and grenades, special abilities, types of maps such as Zombie Escape and regular Zombie Mod. Overview Part 1 We will show you how to download and extract the files for Steam CMD. Steam CMD is basically a tool to download and install the server files. Next, we will show you how to set up the directory location, where we will install the server files. Afterwards, we will show you how to use the command line commands to enter to connect to the server and download the server files. I will also show you a method of automating this process. We will use the batch file method to run steamcmd with the commands already set, so you don't have to manually type commands every time to download, update, or verify the server files. Next, we will show you how to register for a game server login token. If you want your server to be seen publicly, you need to register for this token. If you don't, your server will remain in LAN, local area network. So only people inside your network can join. Anyone outside your network can't join. Afterwards, we'll show the ports required for the game server and how to port forward your server depending on your setup. For example, if you're behind a router or modem. If you bought server slots, rent a server, or bought a dedicated server from a server provider, this step may not be necessary since the server provider could do it for you or it is already set up. Overview Part 2 will show you methods of making startup command line to launch the server. We'll go over the configurations of the server. For example, server config, game modes underscore server text file, game mode underscore mode underscore server config. For parentheses mode, you can put the type of gameplay mode. Examples are casual, competitive, arms race, and demolition. So it could be game mode underscore casual underscore server big. Afterwards, we'll show you how to install mini mod source and source mod. These plugins are required in order to use the Summy mod plugin chosen for this tutorial. We'll also show you how to configure source mod and add yourself as an admin. We'll go through the settings in the source mod config if you would like to change or alter gameplay settings. Overview Part 3 Finally, we'll show you how to install Zombie Mod. There are different kinds of Zombie Mod plugins available, but we will use a Zombie Mod source mod plugin based on its support and usage among popular Zombie Mod servers. Next, we'll go through the configurations for the Zombie Mod plugin. For example, zombie mod config, downloads text file, models text file, and player classes text file. 
These are required if you want custom skins or models for your players to use as a zombie or human. You need to configure them in order for players to download and use the custom materials. You can also configure the settings for the player classes, change them according to your gameplay style. We'll also go over adding skins, maps, and other plugins modifications depending on the request. That's all. If you have any questions, suggestions, or other ideas for videos, you can post them below in the comments section. For example, if you have requests on showing how to install certain plugins or modifications for a zombie mod server. Thanks for watching.